Yeah, so this is MVP here. Because the thing is, you can have Viper, but you can say, you know what? Instead of MVP in the UI layer, I will use MVVM. Why not? You could have a view model here that is not coupled with the view controller, for example, or the router. So it's the same thing. You just move the, the UI implementation. We use a different pattern. Or it could be MVC as well. Why not? So if you're going with MVP, I recommend you follow the unidirectional flow. It's usually much easier to maintain. So you will eliminate the dependency from the presenter, uh, from the controller into the presenter. You will eliminate the presenter depending on the interactor and the router. So actions will come from the view controller to the interactor. Now, the controller doesn't need to depend on the interactor. This could be just a closure that I inject because you need to manage the dependencies here. And then maybe the interactor will have a completion uh, closure or a delegate protocol or something that will say, hey, I'm done with some work or there, there's been an error here or there or the module changed and it would notify something like the presenter usually will be listening to changes here and we'll update the view controller. And again, instead of talking directly to the view controller, maybe you can add a tiny protocol here. So the presenter doesn't talk directly with the concrete view controller, so you can test them in isolation. So there are many ways you can organize this separation here. It doesn't need to be MVP. It can be MVVM if you want. It can make sense to your project. Uh, it doesn't need to be bidirectional. You can remove responsibilities from the presenter, and I recommend you do. Otherwise, your presenter is going to be massive. Yeah. You know, ideally, yeah. the presenter shouldn't even have to talk to the router. But this is a decision you have with your team, whatever makes sense to your project.